Hey everybody and welcome. Uh, Steve here from Open Bomb, and this is the February 2021 edition of Open Bomb for SolidWorks, the first five minutes. So I'm going to take you through the very first things you need to do to get started with Open Bomb for SolidWorks, and that starts with creating an account. So head on over to the Open Bomb website and click on register for free. And I'm going to go through the whole process here with you, and there might be a little extra typing. But um, just kind of bear with me. I'm going to create a new account. SolidWorks first five minutes, and I'm going to choose a uh, I'm going to choose a smart password here. And create that account. So what happens now is we create your account, we sign you in. And uh, we prepare a little, uh, uh, we put some demo data in your account. This demo data will be helpful for referring to some of the more advanced uh, features. And there's a nice video on uh, how to, there's a nice video tour on the demo data. But you know, once you get to this point, you've got an open bomb account and you'll see uh, the demo data in the dashboard. So next, just head on over to SolidWorks. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Next thing you're going to do is uh, click up here on integrations and you're going to head over to our integrations page and, um, and browse down to the integration that you are interested in. In my case, I'm looking for SolidWorks. Go ahead and click that button and download the add-in and save that to your desktop. Now I'm gonna, I'm uh, gonna let you go ahead and install that. I think we're all pretty f familiar with how to install uh, some software. So go ahead and click on that and install it. And once you've done that, head on over to SolidWorks, open an assembly, and um, and you'll see that you have the uh, the Open Bomb uh, menu at, at the top in uh, in SolidWorks. I'm running SolidWorks 2021. I've got the latest release, of course, of the Open Bomb added. Very next thing to do here is you're gonna click on Settings and uh, provide that information from that account that you just created. I created an account called SolidWorks for first five minutes. And I may get a message that says, hey, look, a, a license is required to run the integration. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the, uh, get the free trial right here. I click the free trial button, takes me over to the trial registration. I'm gonna choose which level I wanna trial. I'm gonna go ahead and trial professional user put my phone number in there, that, that is my phone number. And then finally, a little bit more information here about me and my company, and I say get free trial. Very good, I've enabled the trial, I'm back to SolidWorks, and now I've keyed in my credentials, and I'm not going to mess with any of these other settings here. I'm gonna make a multi-level bomb. There are a lot of options when building um, uh, builds material with Open Bomb out of SolidWorks. There's a lot of videos that talk about uh, the various features and things that are available here. For the for the time being, we're going to just make sure multi-level bomb is enabled. We're going to click OK, and then we are going to come up here and click on this bomb button. Before I do that, I just want to point out that I've got a got a SolidWorks assembly. It has some parts. It has some assemblies. Um, I happen to store my part numbers in the file names like many people do. If you don't, there's plenty of other options about around that. That's with toolbox parts and other things. This is a typical representative SolidWorks assembly. I'm going to click on BOM. Open BOM will give me a little bit of information about what's going to happen. And I click on continue. What we're doing now is we're dropping through the product structure in your design. We're going to show you a little information about what we're, uh, some files that we're sending in the background. And then we're going to give you a link to your to your uh, first bill of material, and here it is. This is a nice multi-level bomb right out of SolidWorks. All of these properties that you see here in this grid came straight out of SolidWorks. You know, think all the all this information. These are SolidWorks properties or stored in SolidWorks properties in the files in, in my assembly. I've got my lever, which is a sub-assembly. It comes in with its structure and information. I can start here, build this out, add cost and other information if I like, and of course, uh, share it out with my colleagues or go ahead and place orders. So I hope you enjoyed that. We always look forward to hearing from you at support at openbomb.com. Bye, everyone.